In this video we're going to be looking at how transformers work. A transformer is made up of two coils. This is the primary coil and this is the secondary coil. Voltage is inputted into the primary coil. The transformer then changes the voltage and a different voltage will leave from the secondary coil. That might mean that the voltage is increased or it might mean that the voltage is decreased depending on what is needed by the appliance. We're now going to have a look at how that actually works in practice. So around your primary coil you have an alternating current and the alternating current causes the primary coil to become magnetized. So what this looks like is there's your alternating current, the electrons in the wire are moving backwards and forwards. This causes this iron core to become magnetized and it causes the magnetism to be reversed at the same time that the current is reversed. So because the current is changing direction the magnetic field will also be changing direction. Notice how the north poles and the south poles switch over as the current reverses in direction. Because the current is changing its direction the magnetic field changes direction. So each time the current switches so does the magnetic field. It might switch from this orientation to this one. The poles are in different positions. So that's what happens in the primary coil. However, in a transformer there's also a secondary coil and we now need to think about what impact the magnetism in the primary coil is going to have on the secondary coil. So as the current flows round our primary coil it causes a magnetic field this magnetic field then causes a similar magnetic field in the secondary coil. As the magnetic field in the primary coil switches places, so does the magnetic field in the secondary coil. So let's just have a look at that. The alternating current around the primary coil creates a magnetic field around the primary coil. That magnetic field causes the secondary coil to have a magnetic field. And because the current alternates, so does the direction of the magnetic field in these two cores. OK, so the impact then on the secondary coil of this magnetic field moving around is that the wire around the secondary coil, coil sorry, then has a voltage induced in it. So that will look like this. So you have your alternating current around the primary coil which creates a magnetic field. That creates a magnetic field around the secondary coil and the magnetic field around the secondary coil induces a current in the wire surrounding it. So these electrons are moved because of the changing magnetic field here which is created by the changing magnetic field here which is created by this current flowing round. If this wasn't an alternating current you wouldn't then have a magnetic field which changes here, you wouldn't have a magnetic field which moves and changes position here, so you then wouldn't have a current flowing around here. It is important to note that the alternating current that flows around this coil never contacts with the alternating current flowing over here, so these wires are not connected. The only reason that this current flows is because of the magnetic field that's moving in this secondary coil. So the two wires are not connected. It's the magnetic field created by this current that then causes the electrons in this wire to start to flow. The next thing we need to look at is how does a transformer change the voltage. So remember our voltage comes into the primary coil a voltage is then induced in this wire around the secondary coil. So the voltage will be different from the primary to the secondary. If there are more coils around the secondary coil, then the output will increase. So you can see here there's only a few coils around the first one, but there's lots of coils of wire around the secondary coil. If you double the number of coils, you double the output voltage. The reason for this is because there's more wire around the core, so therefore there's more electrons to be moved by the magnetic field. So if you have more, co uh, more coils of wire, more electrons are moved, a bigger voltage is induced, the output is bigger. 
Similarly, transformers can be used to reduce the voltage. So around our primary coil we have three loops. Around this one we've just got the one loop. Therefore, because there are fewer coils around the secondary coil, the output voltage is decreased. If you half the number of coils, you half the output voltage. There are two types of transformer. The first type of transformer is a step-down transformer. That means you've got lots of coils on the first primary core and you've got a fewer reduced number of coils on the secondary one. This steps down the voltage, it lowers the output voltage. The other type of transformer is a step-up transformer. So you have a small number of coils on the primary core and then a large number of coils on the secondary core. This steps up, it increases the output voltage.